Today we are diving deep into the depths of Florida once again to the shark attack capital of the world. Now in our last video I explained that sharks are literally everywhere. I actually did a test to see if there are sharks in the area. It goes as follows. Go down to the body of water that you want to test for sharks. Get a sample. Immediately upon retrieving the sample, taste it. And if it tastes like salt, there's sharks and you need to get out of here. It's salty. There must be sharks. But you shouldn't be afraid most of the time. This footage features my really good friend Joey Antonelli and his buddies literally battling sharks. What's up guys, I'm Jack Tenney of the Juke Squad here to keep you entertained through all of quarantine. All I ask is you click the like button or else Bigfoot will quarantine with your mother. <laughs> he stinks. The man smells like shit. Sharks being the apex predator of the ocean are virtually not scared of anything. While they do not see people as a food source, if people are hunting their food source, it might be a different story. Free divers and spear fishermen have been battling sharks for their dinner all over the world. And some of the encounters can turn south and some of the sharks can get really, really aggressive when there's food on the line. Now, the real problem is that some fishermen are getting scared of the sharks when they come up after shooting a fish and they're just giving the shark their meal. Because a lot of the fishermen get scared if an aggressive seven foot bull shark is coming after you, which is understandable. Now this is a problem and divers everywhere are actually urging anyone who is going diving to fight off the sharks if they plan on going spear fishing. Because if they don't, the sharks will just swarm like in the footage that we're about to watch. Now for this video. This is one of the gnarliest I've seen. gosh that I actually remember Joey telling me this story and showing me this footage so the Kobe has kind of followed the sharks around but that hammerhead was like 13 feet easy so this day this particular day I remember Joey telling me about this too look 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 shoots a fish and then instantly like 30 sharks show up Dude, like I'm not scared of sharks, but that's a little terrifying. Only because I know that they're after the fish that he just caught. And in this instance, like Joey is the first person to fight off sharks, but uh, they want to avoid an accident and a shark coming up and trying to take the fish out of their hand by letting the fish swim away on the line and then they're gonna jump in the boat and I'm assuming they're just gonna rip that fish onto the boat as quick as they can before the sharks grab hold of it. Yank him in, yank him in, get him in real fast. Look, there he is. Where's the sharks? Oh, look at all the sharks! Oh my gosh. Yup, there you go, there's your dinner. That is so terrifying. And this is just more footage that Joey has of sharks being super weird around him, coming a little bit too close for comfort. But like I said, man, they're like apex predators of the ocean. They have nothing to be afraid of, you know? That is sketch, though. Oh my gosh. Some big bull sharks. Uh, there's some big cobias. Oh my gosh, there's sharks everywhere. God, and the visibility is not that good either. That's creepy. So the cobia follow the sharks around and uh, they sneak up on the sharks to shoot the cobia. Oh, see, look. <laughs> it's a little too close. I'm trying to pick out the biggest one. Oh, there he is. Oh, stunned him. This guy is feeding his entire neighborhood going out and spear fishing. Like his last video, they caught like sheep's, like the biggest sheep's head I've ever seen. And just pretty much uh, said that they were going to be giving away fish to everyone in their neighborhood, which is pretty cool. That is a big cobia too. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Yep. Throw it in the bag, boy. 
crazy. Joey is just always running into the biggest sharks. Look at all this cobia, though. They're dumb, too. So they're free divers, right? So they take deep breaths. So that shark is above him, which is in between fresh air. <laughs> Uh, which is in between fresh air and him, so it's kind of like creepy that you have to wait for the shark to swim by before you can go breathe again. What if he just starts circling above you? This is creepy though. I'm sorry, like, you know, no matter how comfortable you are with sharks, if you shoot a cobia and you have 30 sharks looking at you trying to get that cobia for dinner, it's creepy. Like these sharks don't care at all. Look, he shoots the spear gun, the shark doesn't even flinch. That's wild. Ooh, that shark was com that shark was mad. Yeah, see those bulls, they get aggressive, man. The bull sharks get aggressive when you are hunting where Oh, <laughs> Damn, that's a big cobia. Look at all the sharks. Damn, that's an old school pulse of Hawaiian sling too. Oh my gosh, look at how big that thing is swimming right at him. See, and the shark can sense when they, the person's aggressive, too. You know, if you're holding that spear at them and you're holding your ground, the shark will probably veer off and swim away. So I have to give a huge shout out to Joey Antonelli. He was the person that I stayed with during the last gnarly hurricane on the East Coast. We actually ended up hopping on his jet ski going out to this place called Monster Hole because there's sharks and tarpon everywhere. And uh, I got some of the most fun waves of my life diving off of his jet ski into head high waves. If you guys want to check out that video, I'll leave it in the description. Maybe I'll show you guys some footage at the end of this video. He posts some of the sickest fishing videos on the internet as well. If you're into fishing at all, I definitely suggest you subscribing and checking out his channel. I'll leave the link in the description or you can just type in his name. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this kind of different style of videos that I've been making more commentary, more reaction. It's all because of quarantine. We have some of the best stunts and pranks that we've ever come up with in our lives for when quarantine is over. I mean, I've literally just been sitting at home trying to come up with the best ideas I possibly can. But I, just, I don't ever want to just upload some sh I want it to be good enough to where I feel like I would want to watch it if I was the viewer. I never want content to lack. And, um, you know, subscribe and just click the f***ing like button. That's it. Just f***ing do it. That's all, I f that's all I ever asked. Just click the like button. Just like the video. It's a vase. It's a vase. This is a Chucky Beat production. 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 production.